Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Today I'm talking about the newest album from the Foo Fighters, but here we are. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music playlists we put together every week, and the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoy the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So the latest album from the Foo Fighters was released last week, and I know there's been a bunch of reviews online and on YouTube over the last week about this album, and I thought about doing an album la uh, a video last week about it, but I wanted to have a week, at least a week, to sit with the album to kind of listen to it, because I feel like a lot of times, I really, I'm not a big fan of doing those like hot take videos, I because uh, my opinion changes so much the more you listen to an album. You know, take uh, Ozzy's album uh, that uh, that came out last year. I wasn't a huge fan of it when it first released, but w the the more I listened to it, the more I liked it. So I kind of wanted to sit with the the new album from from the Foo Fighters. But here we are, and and give it at least you know at least I'd say you know, three or four listens to kind of get a full opinion of the album. So the new album, but here we are, is the uh, the first album since the death of longtime Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins, who passed last year while they were on uh, tour down in South America. And to be completely honest, I didn't know if we'd ever hear from the Foo Fighters again under the Foo Fighters name. I know we did a, a video on the, uh, the channel here last year talking all about that. And I think kind of where I fell on the topic was... I thought we'd see something from Dave Grohl and the rest of the band again, but I didn't think they'd do it under the Foo Fighters name. I thought they'd kind of move on and uh, do something a little bit different, and uh, but kind of keep the the momentum that they've had over the last you know 25 years. But that's not all what the, what they did. They doubled down. They did the they tried to create the most Foo Fighters album that they could, and I think they really accomplished their goal. So I didn't expect a whole lot from this album. I, uh, I when Medicine at Midnight came out two years ago. I thought it was a good album. I thought it was, I, I guess it was probably more like, I, I thought it was an okay album, I guess is probably the, the best way to say that. You know, it wasn't terrible, but uh, it was nowhere close to being one of their best albums either. And, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people love that album, but when I'm comparing the, the Foo Fighters albums to what I think are their best three albums, which are their self-titled debut album, The Color and the Shape, and then uh, the, the Wasting Light, which I think is hands down their best album overall. Comparing it to those, I didn't think it quite lived up to those expectations. I know uh, Greg Kirsten is back to produce this new album. He also did Medicine at Midnight. He also did Concrete Gold. I thought Concrete and Gold was kind of along the same lines at Medicine at Midnight. It was just an okay album. Uh, you know, nothing really kind of blew my mind. So that's why going into this album, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't have really high ex expectations, but I was hoping that it would be a, a great album. There's one thing I knew going into this album, and that is, you know, almost 30 years into their career, the Foo Fighters know how to create a great rock album, and they definitely do that on, on this album. I think the thing that really separates this new album from really anything that they've done f since uh, Wasting Light in 2011 is the the way that that Dave Grohl crafted the lyrics on this album, and like I said, it's the, the it's really about grief and, and losing people close to you, and it's really introspective and kind of dark at, at times also, and it's very different, I think, than what they did on their last several albums, and that's why I think you know you know it, it's hands down a better album than anything that they've done over the last decade. And that's funny because that's kind of how I went into Wasting Light also when it was released. You know, those, those like three or four albums before, I just wasn't a big fan of. And, you know, they really kind of lost me after The Color and the Shape. I, yes, they did have some good songs, but nothing enough to really kind of draw me into a full album. And then the first time I heard Wasting Light, I was blown away. You know, and, and I instantly knew that it was going to be a classic Foo Fighters album. And, and it is. I think it's pretty widely. Uh, you know, accepted as, if not the best album, there it, it's it's definitely up there with, with some of their best. So some of my favorite tracks on this album, uh, Hearing Voices, The Glass, Rescued, which is the, the first single that they released off of the album, and then they closed the album with Rest, which is another great track also. Those are some of my favorites. Probably my favorite track on this album is one that I didn't expect it to be. And that is The Teacher, which is a, I think it's just a little over 10 minutes long. It has, as a big Pink Floyd fan, it has some kind of elements 
that uh, I, I see in some of those longer Pink Floyd songs, things like Echoes and things like that, that, uh, you know, it, it's interesting to see the Foo Fighters do a song like that. Something that, that, something that I don't think they've really done throughout their career before. And there's not too much of a repetitiveness to the song that, like there is with some of those other, like, great progressive rock songs uh, of the past. You know, especially when you talk about, like, things like Pink Floyd, which has some kind of repetitiveness to it. There really isn't in this long, 10-minute ten, ten long track. It does not feel like it's 10 minutes long. It's a great track from beginning to end. And outside of this album... It's probably one of my favorite rock tracks off of any album for the last probably at least four or five years. So obviously by this point in the video, you can already guess that I, I think pretty highly of this album. I think this is one of the Foo Fighters' best albums. Is it the best? No, not, it, it, it's still Wasting Light in my opinion. I think it's definitely up there. It's in that conversation with Wasting Light with their uh, self-titled album, with the color and the shape, those classic, classic uh, uh, Foo Fighters albums. I think it's definitely in that realm, uh, in that conversation. You know, as far as, like, grading it, it's probably, I give it, like, a solid eight and a half. I think, uh, you know, there's not too many things on this album that I would do differently. Uh, there's uh, there's really no skippable tracks, I think, on here either. But uh, overall, I think it is a great album. I expect this to sell well. I expect it to chart really well, and I expect this to be, you know, up for at least nominated for a lot of awards this year, and uh, at least by the end of the year, make it on a lot of people's uh, favorite uh, albums of 2023. And I think really the only negative I have for the physical form of this album is, first off, I love the simplicity of it. I love the the white album. I love the white writing on the album jacket on the cover, but. When you get to the liner notes, white on white is pretty hard to see <laughs> and read. And, uh, you know, I'm, it's on white vinyl, and I'm a big colored vinyl fan. I, I love colored records. But the one issue I have with white is it gets kind of hard to see where the grooves are between the tracks if you want to skip over a track. But uh, like I said, there's nothing really worth, skip, worth skipping on this album, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But I, uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, maybe just changing the writing on the uh, the inner sleeve might have had a better presentation for the the physical form of this well that's what i got for you today guys thanks for checking the show out make sure you drop me a comment down below let me know what you think of this new foo fighters album like i said i've been blown away by it i absolutely love it it's uh so far it's one of my favorite albums of 2023 and it's an album that I didn't expect to love as much as I do. But I want to know what you guys think of it. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. That's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.